everybody, welcome back. It's me, Worst Epic Gamer. Um, I'm back, that's right. Believe it or not, guys, my first video back in like five months. I know, I know, don't hate me. I got a long, long story. Got a lot of things that's been happening to me. I moved to my new house. As you can see, my setup is not even set up. That's why uh, you can kind of see everything here. Um, let's see. New house, we had a new baby. Oh my God, I got a new kid that's two boys now. He's so beautiful. Um, what else? Our business is busier than ever. It's unbelievable. I, I mean, there's so many crazy things around. I'm not even wearing pants. I'm not even wearing pants. It's unbelievable. I forgot my pants in my other house. We're just getting set up into this house. Um, I can't wait to start streaming again, making videos for you guys. That's why I wanted to make a quick video for you guys today. It's probably not a good idea. My kids are in bed. It's late as hell. I gotta shave. Oh, I'm running on crazy fumes, but I was so excited to set everything up that I couldn't wait any longer, guys. And I know it's been such a long time since I made a video. And uh, truly, trust me, I feel terrible about it because... I really love hanging out with you guys and I miss making the videos, man. I really, really miss making videos. But as you can see, I've still been playing. I mean, um, let's just go ahead, go right into the video. We don't want to kill too much time here, but let's just take a look. Uh, my collection, these are all the heroes that I'm kind of working on little by little. But I do have all of the heroes that are, were released lately. Because that's what I do, guys. I'm a collector. That's why I play these games, man. To collect these heroes and upgrade them all. Uh, there's so many things that happened. The second awakening abilities. We got to talk about all that. New ranking videos. My God. I've got so much work to do. I got to fill you guys in on what to do. Who to use. Who not to use. Should you use Gromok? Should you use Ariel? Should you awaken Ariel twice? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll take a look. But lately, they have released... A couple of these raccoon heroes, which is kind of strange, right? A bunch of raccoon heroes all at once. We got uh, Kin, Sun, you son of a bitch, and Aedis. Aedis. So this is why this hero is... I mean, this video is going to be about the new hero Aedis just released today. So we're going to take a look at this guy, see if he's any good or not. And then... Um, well, actually, let's begin this awakening. I can begin the awakening right now. So we'll get... Let's hope we can do awakening and... Um, the spotlight at the same damn time if I have a celestial potion don't tell me I don't yeah. well there goes another 10 bucks down the drain I'm telling you guys soul hunters is gonna be the death of me this is the reason why my kids are going to starve because you just drop all your money into soul hunters you idiot but I couldn't wait I had to do this for you guys mostly I had to do it for myself because I'm so impatient. But let's get right into it. Boom. Awakening quest is complete. And we're going to do this all together, guys. Live. Let's go. Crafty McDafty. Oh, I can't wait to start streaming again. Boom. Awakening item is done. Let's hope that the dojos are all open. Yes. My prayers have been answered. Wait a minute. Today's Sunday. <sighs> of course, they're all open. It is Sunday. The best day of the week. All right. Here we go. Let's fast forward this. This is going to be an easy fight, guys. Uh, Melroth. A lot of people like Melroth's, you know, awakening. He's got, he got a skin and he got a new, a second awakening. But to be honest, he stinks. This guy sucks in the, the meta arena. For some reason, I just cannot get a win with him on my team. But he's not that bad. Don't get me wrong. He's not terrible. It's just the top of the top arena. That's the problem. That is where you cannot use Melroth. But in the Grand Arena, I guess you can use them. All right, here we go. Let's sweep these four more times here. And don't forget, if you're new, because I know there's going to be a lot of new people now because I haven't been around for five freaking months. If you're new, you must beat the stage one time and then you can sweep after it. All right, don't go ahead sweeping. You will lose your chances. All right, so what did we have to do? I completely skipped on that. All right, so he's got to do a minimum of, um, what is that, 150,000. This shouldn't be too hard. Trick to this, guys, is use heroes that don't do much damage, all right? Let's go with some, obviously, maybe some healing. Let's see. Now let's use her. Let's use Lingy. And, um, oh, Flora. Flora will do. All right, so... 
Hmm, what should I do? Uh, kick some ass, obviously. Now, I might have to actually upgrade this guy a lot more because I have not worked on his abilities at all and we actually, I skipped on his abilities for a reason because I wanted to do all of them with his awakening at the same time. This must be path to enlightenment. Huh. There's a lot of ways to enlightenment. If you know what I mean. All right, let's go ahead. Ultimate. Oh, am I awake yet? Yes, you did it, you bum. Woohoo! He did it. Now we can go ahead and just use all the other ultimates and hopefully destroy these guys. Yes. Yes, sir. E. Babaruni. Uh, that's pretty simple. When you get to the max level, the gameplay becomes so simple. Complete. Now let's take a look. Okay. So, wait a minute. I feel like he just got more rinky dinky winky, like really more wimpy. The drunk monk. Okay, so I love the idea of the drunken monkin, but let's take a look if he's worth the hassle. The Hasselhoff. All right, so abilities. Let's break them down real quick, guys. So we got drunken fist, Adus, Adus. All right, Adus uses his. Kung Fu to inflict a flurry of punches onto an enemy, unleashing multiple attacks that deal physical damage to them. All right, so multiple damage, uh, physical damage, not bad. Second ability, Misty Monk, deals magic AOE damage to enemies and reduces their physical attack accuracy and dodge rating. All right, so he's a dual attacker, magic and physical. Pretty nice, I like that. But would it be really, really good? I'm not sure. Aedas uses his foot to smash the ground, which causes physical AoE damage to nearby enemies and causes them to be stunned for a short period of time. This ability sounds a little bit like Volans, where he, you know what I mean, jams on the ground and causes somebody to be stunned. All right, so that's okay. A stun is never bad. Elemental Surge, the power of the elements, give Aedas a new lease on life, increasing his physical attack. Hmm. All right. See, anytime, anytime they have an ability which increases one of their skills, I always personally feel that's a waste of an ability because if they would have just gave him that physical attack increase into his stats, where it's automatically implemented into his stats, then that fourth ability could have had something better. You know what I mean? But either way, that's what it is. Let's go all allied heroes that possess the raccoon symbol may uh, receive a health increase buff. Buff McDuff. So at level one, it's 4,800, which is not too bad. Actually, let's work on this a little bit here. So let's see, level 12, it's a 5,000. All right, so it's gonna get, they're gonna get a pretty good health increase, guys. So could we be, could we be looking at a full on raccoon team, even though there's only four of these bad boys? Hmm, raccoon McDoon. That reminds me, why in the blazes hell is my boy Gizmo not in the raccoon team? What? How are you gonna leave out Gizmo? Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's a machine, but he's a raccoon. He's a raccoon hanging, dangling a machine. Wow, that's the biggest neglect since my father, pretty much my whole life. Wow. All right, let's not get too deep into that one, guys. So pretty much his abilities does some damage, a little stun, um, and we'll help our raccoons. All right, so what do we think? First impression, I think he's okay, not too bad, but I don't think he's gonna be a game changer per se. Just my opinion, guys. I don't think he's gonna really do anything crazy in the arena. Uh, you could definitely ride the gladiator arena, run some raccoon teams, but could he be a tank that, hmm, not too sure. Not too sure, but let's take a look here. Where am I? We've got some crazy... Oh, there's... Now I can't even tell these raccoons apart. Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. I think that's sun there. <laughs> it's a... Wait. Mm, it's happening so fast, I can't see, but I think I'm winning. Oh, I'm definitely winning. Boom! This team right here, guys. Killer. Killer squad. Uh, wrecking havoc with this team, but... Anyways, like I said, the raccoons are coming. They're mediocre, I think. I'm not sure if they're gonna be that good, but let's take a look here. 
damage output. What? That was for the number one spot? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Your boy is the number one. All right. So pretty much, let's get back into it. Talk about it is a little bit. Let's go into the campaign. Just a quick little tutorial and it is abilities here. Let's just see. We'll slow it down, we'll slow motion a little bit. Mm. I kind of want to break his abilities down here. Let's see. Try to... yeah. You know what he reminds me of? If you play Heroes Charge a long, long time ago, the Drunken Master, obviously this is him. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, that's how we used to do that. That was definitely the Drunken Master. Drunken Master had his time. And sometimes I always refer too many to those heroes, to these heroes, but a lot of times they're not even the same. So don't do that. And he died. The stage is probably too high for him. <sighs> you bum. Anyways, this is Aedis for you guys. I don't want to dwell too long into this because I wanted to keep this video pretty short, guys, just to let you know that I'm back. I will be making hella videos from now on. Don't worry. I'm just going to set everything up here and make it look good. But... Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this guy to five stars, guys. I'm not really sure. Definitely been holding back on the spending since I'm blowing all my money into this game. Jesus Christ. But for 10 bucks, I think it's worth it. You know what I mean? Just to get him at three stars, just to upgrade him, and just to collect him. I'm gonna end it off here. I can't wait to see you guys soon on the next video and maybe i'll catch you guys on the stream all right till then have a good morning and afternoon and good night everybody peace out